Welcome. In this section, we would understand the structure of the eye, the mechanism of vision, and the various layers of retina. Now, to begin with, let's first understand the mechanism of vision. So, what happens is light enters through the cornea, moves through the aqueous humor, through the lens, through the virtual humor, and find the virtuous humor, and then it moves to the retina. Now, at the retina, the focus happens, and this is where the cones and the uh, the cones and the rods take part. So, uh, what happens is retinin dissociates. Now, when retinin dissociates from opsin, there is a uh, trans uh, transducin which activates. Now, when transducin activates, the potential generated in photoreceptor cells trigger. The action uh, potential in the ganglion cells. Now, ganglion cells we would understand when we would talk about. So here we have the ganglion cells. So ganglion cells are present in the retina. So activation of those ganglion cells would take place, and finally the signal would be sent from the optic nerve to the brain, where the signal would be analyzed and a erect image, not an inverted, right? So what we see is erect. We don't see people upside down. So erect image would be recognized and created. Now let's understand the structure of the eye. Now structure of the eye, as you can see, the outermost layer here is the cornea now cornea is the transparent clear area of the scrotum so the remaining portion is scrotum now scrotum is opaque it is white and this gives you uh, this gives the shape to a eyeball clear then we have cornea cornea is the transparent layer it is the clear layer it absorbs oxygen and it also focus the light which falls onto it on the top here are the ciliary muscles now the ciliary muscles help in holding the lens so contraction of the ciliary muscles takes place and this function of the ciliary muscle is extremely important now the ciliary muscles are actually having some ligaments here and these are known as suspensory suspensory ligaments so suspensory ligaments are present in the eye to understand how the ciliary muscle holds the lens this is the aqueous humor which is present between the cornea and the lens virtuous humor which is present between the lens and the retina very very important to note now then you have the iris now iris is the opaque colored thing the eyeball that you can see is the iris it is colored it is opaque it is pigmented and there is dilation and constriction of the iris within the iris you see another small section that is the pupil now pupil dilates when there is a dark condition and it would um, actually contract when there is a lot of light around so pupil is found in the center of the iris then is the lens now lens is biconcave in shape it is transparent and actually uh, is important because this lens helps to form the image at retina right towards the here is the optic nerve now this optic nerve sends the signal to the brain now at the tip of the optic nerve leaves and this is the point where no image is formed and this uh, this is actually called as the blind spot this region is the blind spot where the optic nerve leaves and uh, blind spot is where you don't have any image uh, which is formed so it is devoid of any light cells to form the image now a uh, very important is yellow spot in the center of the yellow spot is what is known as fovea centralis so yellow uh, yellow spot is also known as macula so just to make sure you don't get confused here right so macula or the yellow spot is where you have uh, the position or the point which is exactly opposite to the center of the cornea now within the yellow spot the center of the yellow spot is fovea centralis now fovea centralis is the point where you see uh, a kind of most clear vision and this is the point where you have uh, no distinction between 
raw uh, no distinction between the formation here there are no blood vessels no rods which are present and a clear distinct image is formed the remaining part here is what is known as choroid now choroid is dark colored material which is present it is a pigmented layer which absorbs the light uh, which enters into the eye and it uh, basically uh, stops it from reflecting further so that's the main function of the choroid here uh, so that is the basic structure we have already talked about the aqueous humor the virtuous humor so this is the basic structure now coming on to the internal structure of retina within the retina there are various layers rods have rhodopsin and cones have photopsin so just to write it down here rhodopsin and photopsin so photopsin basically helps you in color vision Rhodopsin helps you in night vision or I can say the dark vision. Here is the pigment epithelium. Now retinal pigment epithelium is made up of melanin. It absorbs the light which falls onto it and it also prevents any kind of reflection that happens. Clear? Now within the retina, within the inner nuclear layer, you have the emersin and the bipolar cells which are present. Now emersin is important because emersin actually makes a synaptic contact between the dendrites of the ganglion and the polar cell. Now ganglions uh, together form the ganglionic cell layer and ganglion cells are important because ganglion cells uh, actually give rise to the optic nerve impulse which leads to or which goes to the brain. So ganglion cells within the ganglionic cell layer sends the signal to the optic nerve finally to the brain and therefore ganglion cells are extremely important to understand. Then we have the plexiform layer. There are two plexiform layers outer and inner plexiform. Now outer is where you have the synapse with the dendrite of the bipolar cells and the horizontal cells. So horizontal cells as well as the bipolar cells have a synapse. They join together here and this is where we call it as the outer plexiform layer. The horizontal cells are important because they connect one receptor to the next receptor and therefore move further. Choroid as we said is the dark colored pigment which absorbs light and stops it from reflecting further. So it sends the signal to the retinal pigment epithelium where uh, there is again the prevention of uh, reflection and the signal goes to the rods and the cones and finally from the ganglion cell to the optic nerve and to the brain. So this is how the retina actually functions. So in this section we have understood the structure of the eye. We have talked about how the functioning of the eye takes place and uh, the mechanism of vision along with the structure of the eye and the internal layers of retina which is extremely important topic for you to understand. Wish you very good luck and we will be covering many similar topics in the upcoming sessions. Stay subscribed.